Sometimes suspects are guilty of being deviously ingenious. Take the bank robber who, when captured, ate the alleged hold-up note. Bon appetit. But why is this guy licking his handcuffs? Am I going to jail for something? After allegedly brandishing a knife, Quincy Alexander was handcuffed in the back of a West Bloomfield, Michigan police cruiser. The first thing he managed to do was to move his cuffed hands from behind him to in front. He also emptied his pockets, which police say contained heroin. And then he used his mouth to lubricate an apparently loose handcuff. Let's time him, see how long it takes him to take off the cuffs. Left alone in the cruiser with the radio on, Alexander gnawed, salivated, and tugged for a mere 17 seconds before the cuff came off, a veritable handcuff Houdini. He kept looking around for the officer. You could almost see him think. And while we're at it, shouldn't the suspect be wearing his seatbelt? And then there's the minor detail of how he managed to open a window to get out. The barrier between front and back had been left open, so Alexander just crawled into the front seat. Watch the light change as he presses the button opening a rear window. Out the window he went. At least this cruiser was parked. A handcuffed burglary suspect in Utah threw himself out the window of a moving police car. The window was open because he'd been throwing up. When he threw himself out, he was not seriously injured, though he was recaptured. And so was Alexander. Just three hours later, his Freddie Mercury moment short-lived. I've got to break free. But if you're going to break free, at least turn off the radio. Jimmy CNN, New York.